What's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, we're going to be comparing how Unreal Engine 5.0 used to look in the city sample demo and now with Unreal Engine 5.4. I'm basically being asked by people developing their games in 5.0, what's changed? And more specifically, is it worth switching to Unreal Engine 5.4? Now, obviously, there are a lot of features that were added since 5.0. So in this video, I'm going to focus strictly on graphic side, more specifically the lumen changes in the reflections because they added quite a bit of things, especially with hardware ray tracing. So here we are in the city sample. And if you remember, whenever 5.0 came out, this is how it really looked. The reflections really weren't there. The windshield and the glass and the mirrors really looked like smudged, like some oil was rubbed in front of it or whatever. It didn't look too good. Now, the first thing that we got since 5.0 was the hit bounce lighting. So what I did was I set up some keyboard shortcuts on my keyboard, and we're going to be switching on the first edition, which is hit bounce lighting, by pressing B. And right away, you're going to see the difference. It's massive. Now, granted, all of these features might affect performance. So just keep that in mind because obviously it's visually, you know, increasing the quality of the image in Unreal Engine 5. But here's the before and here is after. Now, the next one I'm going to showcase is something they added in 5.4, if I remember correctly. And it's the screen space in the post-process volume when it comes to lumen reflections. And I believe it actually has it in global illumination as well. So what I'm going to do now is showcase the screen space reflection. So if I press N, this is going to be turning screen space reflection off. And as you can see, even if I hide that building in front of me, and especially on the ground, you're going to see that we're still getting some kind of reflections of that building on our surface here. But if I press screen space on, it's going to completely disappear. So again, this is with it off, screen space reflection off, and this is with it on, okay? Now, I still, I'm still kind of debating with this setting because sometimes in my shorts, the screen space with, with it on looks better than with it off. So right now this is off, this is on, okay? Pretty interesting stuff. Now, it's obviously a no-brainer. Screen space basically is just reflecting what's on the screen so that when it's hiding like this, it's not gonna reflect anything. But as we go up, it's gonna reflect what's on the screen. Again, this is totally up to you. Decide how you want it. But now you can change that with a CVAR or the post-process volume with a switch, all right? So that's two changes so far. Now, what I will do is I will drive a car because I set up another car in here. I just imported it to kind of showcase the next one, which is really, I think, is one of the biggest changes fidelity and quality wise since 5.0. And that's going to be the high quality translucency reflection. So here we are. And while we're driving, I can actually switch off and on the hit bounce lighting so you can see the difference there. Oh my gosh, I'm driving with my keyboard and mouse here, yeah, so. I mean, I really can't drive in real life. So here we are in this parking lot. I like to come here because we have all kinds of cars. So it's the perfect way to kind of showcase this. So I'm going to run over here. And I just kind of imported this generic car. All right. So here we are with this red generic car and some more cars. So I'm going to set my character kind of in the middle in that. And again, I have the keyboard shortcut J for the high quality translucency reflection. So now this is off, which is before 5.0. And if I press J, this is 5.4. And if you look at this windshield in the before and after, the difference is quite big. I mean, look at that van in front of me after before now if you are rendering in epic or cinematic and you have hardware ray tracing turned on this is already going to be turned on for you but just to showcase this i went ahead and just put it in a cvar so we can kind of flip it on and off so again this is what 5.0 used to look like and now this is what we have with 5.4 tremendous huge difference now a couple more things that they added is now we can actually change how many bounces we can have in the reflections and the refraction. I made a video about this. If you want to check it out, I'll put it in the top right corner of this video. So that's more control for us 
in the post-process volume whenever we're talking about Lumen hardware reflections, which is again, very nice. Now it's quite obvious that Lumen is really starting to look nice. And again, in this video, I just talked about these simple changes. There are so many addition in Unreal Engine 5 since 5.0, like optimizations, tessellations, motion matching, rigging. There's so much. And it's really up to you to decide if it's worth, you know, upgrading your project from 5.0 to 5.4. Uh, additionally, I am testing out 5.5 and my goodness, we are getting some more good stuff in 5.5. So uh, let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this. Do you really see the difference uh, between 5.0 and now 5.4 or not really? I mean, for me, yes, especially in cinematics. And performance, I think this runs a lot more smoothly. I'm recording this in 4K, so 60 frames per second, and it's running pretty smooth. Uh, that said, that's pretty much it for this video. If y'all have any questions, let me know, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.